What's going on guys? Leafy here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today, this morning, I have got for you a just chatting video. Uh, it's just more just chatting highlights um, from a different stream than the previous ones. Um, in this one, we're talking a little bit about a lot about coffee actually um just why I, I don't drink any caffeine uh other than like a, a, a soda every once in a while or like a nice tea um and so i was talking about why and um as well as uh I, I shared some some stories about my game one of my game changer trips or a couple of my game changer trips to vancouver which i thought were funny stories um and uh, i think we also were talking about like favorite cocktails and stuff there's a lot there's a lot in here it's a lot of different topics but it's good stuff um it's good good banter good conversation as always which is why i decided to put on youtube um so i hope you guys enjoy if you do hit the like button helps me out a great deal subscribe if you want to see more content of mine let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and i will catch you guys in the next video why drink coffee and get less caffeine when you can have Red Bull and get more caffeine? Um... Well, like, based on that logic, you- you wouldn't ever. Uh, but, you know, there's- there's also, like... Jesus Christ. There's also, like, the- I'm trying to talk. Here. Thank you. You know, there's also like the you know the the social acceptability of it. Um, you know, coffee is a morning beverage. Some mornings I'll actually go pre-workout or Monster instead of coffee because I think it tastes better and is more portable and faster than making coffee. Um, hey, that's interesting. I never have anything. I don't. I don't drink. The only caffeine I get is, uh, I'll drink a brisk with my dinner, but I only have one every day. <laughs> I could drink more, I could just have, like, an IV of brisk at all times, but, uh, wouldn't be very good for me. My mom might have yelled at me when I drank, but yeah, I, I, I've only, I've never even had a Red Bull or a Monster. I mean, or pre-workout for that matter. I, I, I've never really had, like, I've tried a sip, but, like, I've never had an energy drink. I just, I don't know. I, I know that they're, like, incredibly bad for you, and I just, uh, so I just don't. <laughs> I guess that kind of just scared me off. Mountain Dew Kickstart, good taste, but not crazy high caffeine like Monster. Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably tired all the time more so than normal people, but, um... There's, like, there's, like, two things that scare me. So, like, the first thing is that, uh, energy drinks are terrible for you for, like, a multitude of reasons. And then the other thing is that, um, my parents drink so much coffee that they have, like, uh, caffeine dependence. It's not an addiction, because I don't think you can actually get addicted to caffeine, um, but I don't think it's an addictive substance, but, uh, like my mom, if she doesn't have a coffee, she gets a headache, and sometimes she likes to have two coffees, <laughs> like, I think she normally does, she'll have one in the morning and one, like, later in the day or at night, and I, I just don't want that life. <laughs> Only drink morning caffeine before things like road trips, etc. Oh, okay, that that's fair. Yeah, the one time I um when I went to Vancouver for one of the events, the NHL events, uh, I've been there twice. One of them, I so we were staying in a hotel. I got there at like one o'clock at night or in the morning, one o'clock in the morning, <clears throat> and uh, the. I didn't realize that like the blinds were all the way open, right? So I um I just I just went to sleep. Like I was super tired. I just went to sleep. I passed out. I wake up at like 6 a.m. Which we weren't we were supposed to leave at like I don't know nine ten o'clock. Which our hotel was like like just basically just down the road from EA. It's like you know a few minute drive. Um so we were leaving at like nine or ten o'clock or something like that. And 
But I wake up at like six when the sun comes up because my the blinds and the drapes were just open. Uh, and I I was so tired that I didn't even get up to close them to go back to sleep. So I was just up. Um, I was just awake and and I, I was so tired, like beyond belief. I had slept like three, four hours or something like that. I, I had a coffee that day and uh, that was the day that I learned that I shouldn't ever drink coffee. <laughs> Because it, it didn't agree with my system at all. Probably because I never drink it, and so it kind of just went... It went it was downhill. We did go to downtown for like dinner one night, but we didn't spend any time there. We just ate dinner and then came back. That was the best night at dinner, though. Otherwise, they just want to eat it like the stupid Boston pizza in, um, in uh, Metro Town. I hate Boston pizza. It's like, uh, I just, I don't know, I'm on a trip. Like, we have, like, they gave us money. They give us, they give us a stipend just so that we can pay for, like, taxis and, uh, uh, food. Like, and it, I mean, for, like, the number of days it is, it's, it's, I would say it's pretty generous what, like, the limit is on the stipend. And obviously, like, we, we can all pay for food, you know, like, you gotta pay for it when you're home, so it's not even that big of a deal, um, but, like, they just end up getting fucking wings and pizza at Boston Pizza, and I'm like, we can literally go anywhere. <laughs> One night, we went to, like, a nice, a nice place. It was, like, a, a steakhouse, like, in a casino, ho in a hotel or something like that. A lot of layers. And it was really good, but that was that was on a different trip. I think with those guys we didn't eat at at uh, at Boston Pizza so much. One night with those guys, so there was one group where I was there with like a lot of people, and it was the first time I went. And that time we ate at Boston Pizza like three out of four nights, and I was pissed. The other the other time. Uh, I was there with like Nuge, Hap, Brody, John Lowell, Cookie. I think that was it. It was just a very small group. So I don't think we, so that was the time we went to the steakhouse and stuff. And then the other time, uh, one of the nights we were just there so late, like we just stayed after hours and then Clappy ordered pizza for us, um, which was fine. It was just like pizza pizza or whatever, but on trips I try not to eat at the same place twice. What's the other thing? That was the other thing that was super frustrating, right? Was that, so that first, that first one <clears throat> where I was there with like 10 other people or whatever, and it was like they had, um, so they had just expanded the game changer program and added a whole bunch of new people. And on top of that, like it was really, uh, like, a lot of times when they did events where they flew people out, it was generally, like, a lot of the same people that would go. So, this event that they did for us, like I said, there was, like, 12 people there or something that they brought out. And, uh, pretty much, like, nearly everybody, it was their first time going. So, I think that is even more annoying that it was all these people that had never been to Vancouver before. And we ate a Boston pizza three out of four nights or something like that. And it's not like the and it's not even like you go to like you're going to like a local chain or something like you know somewhere that um, we've never heard of, but it's not like an upscale place. Like everybody knows what Boston pizza is and what you're getting when you go there. Like you all understand. I don't know, like, you just, you know what it is. Like, nobody doesn't know what it is. I don't think we have them in Florida, but they have them in Toronto, so. I feel like going to Vancouver and not getting sushi or Asian food at some point is a giant miss. I completely agree. I, I did get, that one, that one time that we went to a restaurant downtown, I, I got some, I don't remember anything of what it was, but I got something. I, I tried to eat as much fish as possible. <laughs> what is Boston pizza? I don't know. It's like a, uh, pizza wings fast food place basically 
It's like, or not fast food, but casual dining, like super, super casual dining. So it's like pretty cheap and the food's just whatever. It's not the kind of place that you go when you're on vacation. It's like the complete opposite of the kind of place you go when you're on vacation. It's like the place that people uh, take their kids. There, there, I think there's two types of people that go eat at Boston and Pizza. Um, it's the place that people take their kids when they want to eat out, but their kids are like kids, so they can't go to nice places. Um, so they go to like a place like Boston Pizza. And then uh, secondly, it's a place where uh, if you want to watch like a sporting event with um, people and you want to have cheap drinks and cheap wings, uh, then you would go there too and just get hammered. Uh, yeah, it just looks like a BJ's brew house. Um, I would say that BJ's is actually like, like BJ's is pretty casual, but even like, I don't know, I went to a BJ's last year i actually went there uh you know it's one i went there for my birthday last year um like in 2019 because i wanted to uh have a dinner my idea was i wanted to have a dinner where we just ordered a bunch of appetizers and so i looked at like a bunch of different restaurants and that was the one that i determined was the best one to go to i had never i don't think i'd ever been in there um but anyways the point is, BJ's is like honestly upscale compared to Boston Pizza, I feel. But yeah, I agree. It's still not, it's a casual dining, it's a chain restaurant. You're not gonna go there on vacation. Like, that's not the point. But yeah, I, my whole thing is like, it's just really frustrating because there's basically no reason for on those trips, there's literally no reason why uh, you shouldn't go have good dinners. Like, even if it's not, like, a nice, like, super upscale steakhouse, you know, where your dinner's gonna cost, like, uh -oh, you know, 50 bucks or more a person. Like, whatever. Y you should still, like, because I said, they give you a stipend for food. So, it's not, like, even if you want to go over it, which I can't imagine. I, I know who, I know exactly how they would have gone over it, because some of them, like, uh, use it as a good time to spend a lot of money on drinks which i don't blame them at all i just not like i would get like one you know <laughs> i'd be like yeah i'll have a drink and then i'm gonna get after that i'll have an apple teeny please no i i don't remember what you know it's fun. one of the nights we were out for dinner and i had like a i don't know i had some pink fruity drink because i always, i like to get pink fruity drinks and you can't stop me from getting pink fruity drinks <laughs> and I had one and I was just over there just sipping it minding my own business and everyone was like looking over like damn that looks really good and then they all ordered one <laughs> I just got the whole table sipping on pink fruity drinks pink fruity drinks are goaded I agree 100% I feel like men should not be insecure about drinking pink fruity drinks because they're just straight up delicious and that's just it all of them, all of them are miserable drinking bitter, disgusting beer to look like a man's man. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over here just having the time of my life, sipping on pink fruity drinks. Not a care in the world. My first legal drink was a pink fruity drink from Applebee's, nothing better. I agree. My first was, uh, I got a... A milkshake that had alcohol in it oh it was so good it was like a Reese's peanut butter milkshake with like chocolate vodka or something in it oh, it was just delicious couldn't tell at all and it was wonderful <laughs> I got it with dinner on my 21st birthday we got burgers and shakes it was it was awesome considering that I couldn't do literally anything else on my birthday <laughs> um, and, you know, the burgers and shakes were good. If there's an option to drink something alcoholic that's delicious, I will get it. F beer and everything else. I agree. I, I never, like, I, I, I've ordered a beer one time. I was in Germany. At, like, one of those brewer, breweries, or I forget what they're called. Hofstra House? Something like that. So, like, you have to. 
there's a whole point of going, right? So.